Good evening. Hello, everybody. Good evening. Hello. I hope you're doing well. Nice to Hello. meet you. My name is Carlos. I'm your teacher. So it's a pleasure to be with you guys today. Uh, I just sent the invitation in WhatsApp, okay? Uh, for some people that didn't have access to their email, uh, just give me two minutes so the people that are waiting can log in, okay? Somebody say, I can't hear you. Can you guys hear me? Yes? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, uh, Melody, uh, revise su micrófono. Um, hay una opción donde está el micrófono. Hay una opción, una flechita que dice eh, test speaker and microphone. All right. So si tienen algún problema, pueden eh, probar su micrófono y su eh, audífonos. Dice test speaker and microphone. Es un examen que pueden hacer ustedes mismos ahí para ver que todo está funcionando bien. All right. So I'm going to wait one minute. I'm going to uh, allow people to log in since this is our first day, okay? So let's wait uh, just two minutes for the people to log in. Okay, very good. Uh, I'm, I was waiting for the people to log in. Uh, Melody, uh, can you hear us? I was waiting for the uh, people to log in. I sent the invitation in WhatsApp. Let me see. I can many... hear you. Okay, very good. So um, I'm going to read uh, some of the instructions that I have here. Okay, las instrucciones que le mandaron en el grupo de WhatsApp dice, eh, le esperamos sin falta, no olvidar que deben ingresar o registrarse con su nombre completo según el DUI. Eh, mantener sus cámaras encendidas, eh, esto es la mayor eh, tiempo que puedan. Y um, si tienen algún, eh, algún problema, entonces pueden escribir al mensaje que les mandaron en, en WhatsApp. Si tienen algún problema técnico. Eh, después de eso, yo les puse el link de la reunión, que será la misma siempre. Ok. Very good. So let, let me see. I want to see how many people I have. We have 20 participants, okay? Uh, right now I have 14 participants, so we're missing six people right now. All right, we'll wait for them to log in. Okay, so welcome everybody. Uh, if you can, uh, I'm going to ask you to turn on your camera, okay? Uh, just for the start here, um, I'm, I'm gonna ask you to turn on your camera. Así queda registrado su nombre, queda registrado ustedes. Eh, y yo voy a tomar una captura al inicio de clase y al final de clase. Ok. So es como una asistencia que, que yo voy a tomar aquí virtual. All right. Very good. So um, le voy a pedir que si pueden eh, prender sus cámaras. Voy a tomar una captura, please. David, Lydia. All right. Um, yo sé que. Si están usando el teléfono, uh, I can't Sorry, but my uh, internet is lonely and my camera doesn't work. Okay, David, all right. So just make sure that you log in with your name, with your complete name. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the complete name, right, according to your duty. All right, very good. So welcome everybody. Uh, we're going to go ahead and have this course. This is module one. We're taking and preparing the for the TOEFL course, right? Right. You guys want to take the TOEFL test, okay? And we're going to go ahead and prepare for this test. Um, a TOEFL test, um, 
similar to the TOEIC test, they have a validity of three years. So no sé si alguien ya ha tomado el TOEFL o el TOEIC o algún examen similar como el CASAS o algo, algo así. ¿Alguien ha tomado un examen de inglés ya algo como oficial? Okay. No yet. I've just oh. take the CASAS test. The CASAS, ok, very good. Yo también he tomado el CASAS, he tomado el TOEIC eh, varias veces y eh, eh, este TOEFL yo lo tomé, pero uf, hace como 10 años, no me acuerdo. <laughs> right, so para mí también es un poco, estoy aprendiendo también lo que es el TOEFL, right? Pero eh, sí conozco estos exámenes como el CASA, el TOEIC, etc. All right, very good. Um, ¿Cuál es el propósito? Why do you want to take this test? What is your plan? What do you want to do with this test? Okay, uh, in my case, uh, I need to graduate from the university. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm taking this course. Okay. Uh, I took the TOEFL test two months ago, but mm -hmm. I didn't pass test. I got uh, 470 points. And how many? And I need, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I need uh, 501 uh, at least. Okay. And well, uh, that's why I'm here. Okay, very good. So for the university, it's 500 points minimum, right? Minimum, yes. Okay, very good. What? Uh, who else? Why are you taking the test? What do you want to do with this test? Or why do you need to take it? Why are you taking this test? In my case, to apply a new job or take a promotion in my work. Okay. Okay, very good. So to apply for new work, you said? For another job? Yes, yes to another job or to mm -hmm. uh, grow up in my, my work. Okay, all right, very good. All right, so this is a, a test. Uh, ya vamos a entrar a lo que es el TOEFL and what is, uh, what is the requirements, what are the sections, right? Juan aquí ya tiene la experiencia de tomarlo. So, I mean, that, that's going to help you, Juan. Uh, that's going to be something, uh, úselo como, hey, ya tuve la experiencia, ¿verdad? So, use it as something positive. All right, very good. Alguien más, tell me, why are you taking this test? What why why do you need the test so I am this is my this is okay sorry lydia y después uh, wilfredo so lydia okay mm -hmm. so i am going to take this okay. test because i think that is a new opportunity so mm -hmm. for me okay all right very good wilfredo uh this is my first time that i'm going to take this test mm -hmm. so i'm taking this because i want to uh get some something better so I can, I mean, I, I need something to provide me mm -hmm. an ID so I can get another, uh, I mean, another kind of job. I mean, I want to work in the call center. I want to have something to, repre to represent me in this case, you know what I mean? Okay. So there okay. is for I'm taking this test. Okay, very good. So some of you are taking it because you want to work. Some people are taking it for the uh, university studies, okay? Uh, what else? Another, another reason? Someone else? I just want to improve my personal and professional life. Okay. Also, mm -hmm. There you go. Very good. Okay. Thank you, David. Algemas, why are you taking this test? Well, since I don't have any previous experience in a, mm -hmm. in a bilingual job, I mm -hmm. thought that maybe the TOEFL could help me to demonstrate in my job, which mm -hmm. my English strengths are. Okay. So I could get uh, a promotion or if I get fired, mm -hmm. I could apply, apply to, to a call center or something else. Okay. okay, so to improve your resume, you can say, to improve your resume. El resume es como en español le decimos yeah, la, right. la hoja de vida, right? Right, your curriculum. Uh, so uh, to improve your resume, it's going to look good in your resume. Okay. All right. Very good. All right. So welcome. Uh, my name is Carlos. My last name is Alvarado. You can say teacher Carlos. Uh, you can you can just say teacher. That's fine with me. 
All right, so I'm going to guide you through this. Um, uh, I'm going to show you first just a, a little presentation just so, so you can know me a little bit. Uh, I want you to feel comfortable with me. So give me a second. I'm going to just open up uh, a presentation here for you. All right, so I, I do have some material. Um, solo conozcámonos un poquito. I want you to know me a little bit. And con el tiempo, poco a poco, lo voy a conocer a todos, right? So somos 20. Y, y sí, quiero verlos aquí, pues, todos los días, si es posible. All right, I just want to show you a little bit about me, okay? Um, who I am, some of my teaching experience, um, where I learn my English, etc. okay? So um, I have been teaching for eight, casi nine years, almost nine years. I've been, I have been teaching here in El Salvador. Um, I have taught different academies. I worked for different institutions. This is my family. This is my dogs, okay? This is my puppies. Um, my passion, I like video games. I like to play video games. I like to watch Netflix movies, series, documentaries on Netflix. I love it. Um, I like to work with uh, different things, garden, wood. I like to do different things like this. Um, I like to work with wood and do different objects like this. I like to travel to Chalatenango, Ataco. I love to travel there. And um, I used to practice jujitsu and, and uh, kickboxing. Um, I like fishing. I like to go to Costa del Sol. I like fishing. And I like to work with young groups, uh, young adults. I like to work with children. I like to work with anyone that wants to learn English, OK? Um, dif different institutions, different places that I worked. And this is my baby, OK? All right, very good. So I am a father and I am a teacher. Where did I learn my English? I learned my English in the United States. I study in the United States. I worked in the United States. And um, I, I, I have been living here in El Salvador for about 10 years. I am from El Salvador, but uh, me llevaron allá con lo chiquito, right? And I learned English over there in the United States. Okay, so I have 10 years teaching experience here. And um, I have taught different tests, eh, enseñado el test del TOEIC, preparations for CASA exams, uh, preparation for call centers, testing, etc. Okay, very good. I want to go ahead and just start with you. And I want to show you just a little presentation so that we can learn more about the CASA. What, I, mean, I mean, I'm sorry, the, the TOEFL. What is the TOEFL? What is it? Uh, and we're going to go ahead and look at that right now. Give me a second. Okay, very good. I want to show you a little bit about the exam, right? I am not an expert in the exam, but I understand some of the structures in the test, okay? Hay algunos compañeros aquí que, que ya han tomado el examen, ¿verdad? Como Juan ya lo tomó. Entonces, él nos puede confirmar y, y compartir su experiencia con nosotros. All right. So, the, the TOEFL, first of all, um, ya vamos a ver qué significa el TOEFL, porque it's, a, it's an acronym. An acronym is, es que cada letra del nombre TOEFL significa algo. Okay. So, ya vamos a ver eso. Um, TOEFL significa test of English as a foreign language, okay? Test of English as a foreign language. So that is what the TOEFL means, okay? There are three different types of TOEFLs. There's three. The paper version, se llama PBT, paper-based test. Que este ya no se da porque ya no, ya, ya el examen ya no es con papel y lápiz. Uh, Computer-based test, CBT. Este también lo dan. Eh, algunas instituciones todavía lo hacen así. Um, y el más común ahora es IBT. Significa Internet-based Internet test. Um, so es la versión que es más común ahora a través de la Internet. Okay. 
Uh, so currently, el que ya casi no se usa es el, el PBT, que es el Paper Based Test. Eh, el papel y lápiz ya casi no se usa. Casi todas ahora es IPT, Internet Based. All right. Una vez más, ¿qué significa el TOEFL? Significa Test of English as a Foreign Language. So, ¿Qué es lo que está probando? Tu conocimiento y manejo del idioma como segunda lengua. Okay. T-E-F-L. All right, very good. Uh, questions? Okay, very good. Uh, ETS, muchas veces van a ver esto que significa ETS. Um, lo que significa es eh, Standard Test Service. Es un servicio, una eh, ONG, una organización en Estados Unidos, la cual se enfoca en los exámenes. Eh, sea exámenes universitarios, exámenes eh, eh, para ingreso de diferentes instituciones, etc. Se llama American Testing Service. Okay. Eso es lo que significa ITS, representa esa organización, la cual se, se enfoca en eh, estandarizar los exámenes. Ok, so, alguien ha preguntado, how can I get a high score in this test? For example, Juan necesita 500 puntos o más para pasar eh, su, y um, graduarse de su carrera universitaria. Ok, so, um, what are some things that you can do? So, de esto lo vamos a, a practicar y esto es algo que vamos a hacer todos los días. Ok. Uh, number one, conocer el examen. Conocer qué son las secciones del examen. Eh, el examen está probando listening, reading, speaking, and writing, que son las cuatro habilidades, habilidades del idioma. Okay? Listening, reading, speaking, and writing. Um, so I have to know the structure of the test. Okay? What are the sections? Like, for example, What is the reading section? How many questions? How many paragraphs? How much time do I have to finish the reading section? Todo eso me va a ayudar a sentirme más cómodo con el no tenerle miedo, sino sentirme un poco más cómodo. Ok, conocer cuántos minutos tengo para listening, cuánto tiempo, cuántas preguntas, etc. Ok, cómo es la parte de listening. Todo eso me va a ayudar a sacar un mejor puntaje. Eh, skills. You can, yo lo voy a dividir en tres diferentes aspectos de skills. Es primary skills. Los primary skills are reading, listening, speaking, and writing. Okay? Del idioma inglés. Secondary skills are, for example, grammar and spelling. Example. Academic skills. All right? This is what we call um, test skills. Strategies. For example, summarizing. Skimming and scanning, note taking. Todas estas habilidades son académicas. Okay? Ustedes las conocen en el español porque lo han hecho en español también. Summarizing, skimming, scanning, note taking, etc. Okay? Um, and something very important is positive attitude. Okay? La actitud va a determinar mucho también, ¿verdad? El puntaje de nosotros. La actitud, cómo me desarrollo. Uh, right? If I go in there and I am, I, I feel that I'm not going to do well, I'm not going to do well. But if I feel positive, right? Confident, energized, I'm going to do much better. All right. Another thing that we can do is use the resources that we have. Hay muchos recursos ahora. La internet, YouTube, applications, uh, Man, cantidad de, 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 de recursos. Okay, so everything's free. We're going to use it. Y este curso es un recurso también. All right, so we're going to use it. Another thing is important. Remember, this test has time. This is a time test. Okay, so remember to work within the time. Okay, so todas estas cosas las podemos desarrollar. Y el curso prácticamente se desarrolla, a eh, esto es prácticamente lo que vamos a hacer aquí en este curso, ya que yo no les voy a dar un examen, ¿verdad? Yo no, yo no puedo dar ese examen, <ríe> no tengo la autoridad, pero sí vamos a hacer prácticas, right? Practice. All right, very good. Um, I have a video here. I want you to listen to this video. Um, suban su micrófono ahí para que puedan escuchar bien. Eh, voy a aprender el audio aquí, el sonido. Eh, el, lo voy a poner dos veces porque es bien corto, solo son 
dos minutos. ¿Ok? Pero va a explicar, le va a dar así un overview rapidito de todo el examen. All right, so listen, pay attention. Before you take your TOEFL IBT test, make sure you understand how it is structured. The test has four sections, reading, listening, speaking, and writing, and takes about three hours. First is the reading section. It has three academic reading passages, each with 10 multiple choice questions. Next is the listening section. It has five listening passages. Three are academic lectures with six questions each, and two are campus conversations with five questions each. Your test may include additional unscored questions for reading or listening, but never both. Then there is a 10-minute break. After the break is the speaking section. There are four tasks, and you speak your responses into the headset microphone. Last is the writing section, which has two essays that you type into the computer. All four sections use real academic content, so you can prove you are ready for the English language demands of a university. Okay, I'm going to put it one more time, okay? Para que ustedes puedan captar las different sections that are there. Um, I'm going to explain it and I'm going to give you more information, but uh, this is a good overview. Before you take your TOEFL IBT test, make sure you understand how it is structured. The test has four sections, reading, listening, speaking, and writing, and takes about three hours. First is the reading section. It has three academic reading passages, each with 10 multiple choice questions. Next is the listening section. It has five listening passages. Three are academic lectures with six questions each, and two are campus conversations with five questions each. Your test may include additional unscored questions for reading or listening, but never both. Then there is a 10-minute break. After the break is the speaking section, there are four tasks, and you speak your responses into the headset microphone. Last is the writing section, which has two essays that you type into the computer. All four sections use real academic content, so you can prove you are ready for the English language demands of a university. Oh, okay, very good. So let's talk about... No, let me Before start. you take your TOEFL... All right, very good. Um, esto ya, ya lo hablamos. Basically, what they're testing is the four skills. Reading, listening, speaking, and writing. Okay? Eh, no sé si alguien ha tomado el TOEIC. Okay? The TOEIC does not have speaking. And... Sí, solamente speaking. So, the TOEIC has reading, listening, and writing. Okay? So the only difference between this test and the TOEIC is that this test is going to have speaking, okay? So, ¿cómo van a hacer la parte de speaking? Van a grabar su voz. No sé si vieron ahí en el video, ¿verdad? Decía, you're going to record your voice. All right. Very good. So, this is an example of the time. Claro, lo pueden terminar antes, pero es más o menos el tiempo que le dan, right? The reading section is about 60 to 80 minutes. The listening section is going to take you 60 to 90 minutes. There's a 10 minute break, right? And then you have a speaking section is 20 minutes. And then the writing section is 50 minutes. So it's a, it's a very long test. Okay. <laughs> right. So it's something that keep in mind how long it takes you. Maybe three hours, three and a half hours, maybe. Okay. Very good. El TOEIC es casi similar, casi, casi lo mismo. All right, very good. This is an example of questions. So, ¿Cuántas preguntas en cada sección? In the time. Uh, the reading section. Uh, este curso vamos a empezar, vamos a cubrir todo. Listening, eh, reading, speaking and writing. But this week, esta semana nos vamos a enfocar en reading, okay? Um, so, we're going to... Uh, if you see here, there's going to be between 30 and 40 questions for the reading passages, okay? Listening has maybe 28 to 30 questions, okay? Ya le voy a explicar por qué hay un rango de questions, okay? 
Uh, speaking test is 17 minutes. Um, there's four tasks. Es decir, van a hablar cuatro veces. Van a dar su opinión en el micrófono cuatro eh, diferentes temas. Van a hablar de cuatro diferentes temas. Writing is going to be two, two tasks. Eh, prácticamente, writing es un ensayo. In English, we say an essay. Okay? You're going to do two short essays. All right? Um, now, the writing test, the writing part, no crea que solamente van a estar writing, sino que también van a tener listening and reading también en esa sección. Es decir, para entender eh, lo que ellos piden de, de mí en esa sección. All right, very good. So this is an example. Ah, ¿Por qué hay un rango? No sé si escucharon que hay algunas preguntas que no se califican. ¿Escucharon? En el video decía que habían unas preguntas que no se califican. Les voy a explicar por qué. Um, algunas preguntas las usan como pruebas. Los creadores del examen usan esas, usan esas preguntas para ver qué, cómo pueden mejorar el examen y, y les ponen ahí como 10 preguntas que no se las van a calificar. Es solamente, pero ustedes no van a saber cuáles son. Entonces ustedes tienen que contestarlas como si fueran normal. Right? Lo hacen eso para poder ellos mejorar el examen. Ok. Very good. So this is an example, right? Ya vimos más o menos las secciones, cómo es, etc. Y nos vamos a enfocar en reading ahora. All right. ¿Alguien tiene una pregunta? Questions? For here? Just an introduction, right? Okay. Very good. Um, quiero ir a la parte Teacher. de la plataforma. Sí. Uh -huh. Tell me. Okay. Uh, uh, uh -huh. I'm so sorry, teacher. No, no problem. Uh, well, uh, I, I, I was taking uh, this uh, subject at university. Mm -hmm. And well, um, there are some, some sections mm -hmm. that when we are taking the TOEFL test, uh, we are not going to take. For, for example, we have a uh, reading. Uh -huh. And see, uh, when I was studying at university, I mm -hmm. remember that we only take uh, listening, mm -hmm. and grammar, mm -hmm. and reading. Mm -hmm. But uh, I, I don't mm -hmm. know if there are some uh, different tests mm -hmm. so, because uh, I was okay because. Uh, I, I took the test with um, Centro Cultural and, yeah. and I didn't know that there are mm -hmm. less questions mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that, for this. Yeah. Uh, uh, the, the, the test that they do, the, the TOEFL that they do for the university, I see in el caso tuyo, for, for the university graduation, I don't know exactly which one it is, But the course that we have here, right? El, el curso de preparación, eh, por eso les quería mostrar la plataforma. No sé si pueden ver ahorita la plataforma de inglés corporativo. No? Voy a parar de compartirla, voy a compartir otra vez. Ok, no sé si pueden ver aquí la plataforma de inglés corporativo. Yes. El curso de preparación para TOEFL, Module 1. Sí. Ok, si pueden ver esta sección, que ustedes tienen que tener acceso a esto, está en el correo que les mandaron con los detalles del curso. Ok. Exactly. Um, yes. I have to cover the reading, listening, speaking, and writing. Ok, so we're going to cover everything. All right. Reading, listening, speaking, and writing. Ahora, um, something that you have to keep in mind, Juan, for example, si cubrimos la parte de speaking, vas a mejorar listening, porque... Así es, ¿verdad? Porque así es, es decir, eh, para contestar la pregunta tenés que primero escuchar. So you're going to practice the skill, okay? Uh, for example, for the writing section, you're going to do reading and listening also. So pueda que una te mejore en otra. Es decir, algo te, eh, the listening te va a ayudar para reading, reading te va a ayudar para listening. Yeah, it's going to help me. Yes, yes. All right, so we're going to cover reading, listening, speaking, and writing, okay? So I want to go to the platform, right? 
Um, antes de eso voy a ir al correo que ustedes tienen que haber visto, ¿verdad? De inglés corporativo. Eh, no es este. Es este. Sí, es este. Ok. So, uh, uh, creo que ustedes recibieron un correo así similar con los detalles del curso, ¿verdad? Exacto. Um, yes, para ingresar al grupo de WhatsApp, aquí está. Tienen que solamente darle clic y dice ingresar o join. Ok, so, denle en aceptar, join, so that you can be in the group. Um, todos los videos los vamos a poner en nuestra lista de... de I got, I got, a, I got uh -huh. some problems to get into my platform. I couldn't eh, get into the platform of, of this... Uh, Uh, course, you know, because I, I, got, I got too many tries uh, mm -hmm. that uh, I didn't I didn't remember my password, so I couldn't get in or then they, they blocked me. They blocked entonces, this. That, yeah, I blocked it out. So entonces, I couldn't do anymore. You know? So que... I was just waiting for this occasion to talk to you about. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yo no te puedo ayudar. Tú tienes que eh, escribirle al soporte técnico. Ellos pusieron un mensaje ahora, se oh, acuerdan okay. ahí en la tarde, pusieron si tienen algún problema. Sí, yeah, I wrote, yeah, I read that. Write okay, them. Ok, thank you for yeah, remembering me that. Yeah, write them, send them a message. Ok, ellos te pueden ayudar con okay, eso. Ok, thank you. Thank All right, very good. So, um, no, you know, and, uh, there is another comment that I want to tell you about this Teofil. Uh -huh. uh, that this is very complete. This is same and it's very similar to the uh, state test. You know, I was in the mm -hmm. United States too. I mm -hmm. learned English there and, uh, and I feel that it's the same. It's almost mm -hmm. the same, you know, it's very complete. I like it. I okay, great, great. So it's a, uh, you have to prepare hey. now for the test. All right, so aquí van a ver ustedes el URL para la right, conferencia. Eh, no esperen que yo les mande el link. Denle click aquí ustedes para ir a Zoom, okay? O, o guardar el link allí en algún lugar. All right. Now, ¿cómo ingresan a la plataforma? Le, les mandaron este correo. OK. It says, you have been enrolled to course preparación para TOEFL module one. OK. Access the course material. Ustedes le dan clic aquí y lo va a llevar a la parte donde pueden ingresar su contraseña. El contraseña es el correo electrónico y creo que era 134. 1, 3, 4, 5, su password. Ok. All right, very good. So, ya cuando ingresen, van a ver esto. Curso de preparación para TOEFL, módulo 1, section 1, 2, 3, and 4. Ok. So, ¿algunos ya llegaron acá? ¿Ya vieron más o menos esto? ¿Algunos? All right. Yes. All right, very good. So, los que no han hecho eso, pues eh, confirmen. Aquí está el correo que les cae. Confirmen el acceso y ingresen a la plataforma. Um, hay una parte que se llama Dashboard. Okay. Dashboard, ahí están sus cursos. Ahorita, pues, solo tienen acceso okay. a este. All right, so, reading section. We're going to start with the reading section today. We're going to look at that. Um, I just want to play the videos. <coughs> Um, algunos ya vieron los videos, algunos por lo menos de esta primera sección, algunos no. Entonces solo le voy a dar play a los videos, son bien cortos, ¿ok? Um, and then uh, I'm going to answer any questions. Measure your ability to understand. Written academic English. Sorry, wait, no, no tenía el sonido, ¿verdad? Ahora sí. About the reading section. The reading section on the TOEFL test measures your ability to understand written academic English. It is not necessary for you to have prior knowledge about the topic in order to answer the questions. All right, very good. So, I want to uh, just... Voy a darle mi comentario and feedback, you know. If you have any questions, please tell me. She said something there about the test. Uh, the test is going to be academic topics. Academic topics. For example, eh, puede ser eh, temas que se vengan a la universidad. For example, economics, social studies, eh, arts. Topics like that that we see, science, for example. The academic topics that we see in the university. Now, do I have to know the topic? No. 
Yo no tengo que saber nada de ciencia, nada de social study, nada de history. I don't have to know that because the information is going to be on the paragraph, on the, on the topic, okay? Now, no tengo que saber yo eh, o tener conocimiento de estos temas. No, okay? Why? Because the information is going to be in the content, okay? So no se asusten por eso, right? They say, oh, academic topics like English economy. Oh, I don't remember history. I don't remember econ economics. Don't worry because the information is going to be there. All right. Challenges of the reading section. There are some difficult things that we need to keep in mind. So listen to this section. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Sorry. Challenges of reading. When we take the TOEFL test, we need to know some strategies that will help us overcome some challenges. For example, you need to be familiar with the type of questions, pay attention to the number of questions, and skimming and scanning will help you deal with more difficult questions. Okay, very good. So what is she said? What are some things that we need to keep in mind? What are some challenges uh, for the test? Pay attention. Mm -hmm. She said pay attention to the question. questions. Strategies. Mm -hmm. Strategies, very good. She yeah, said strategies. Pay attention to the number of questions. <clears throat> she also said pay attention to the type of yeah. questions. Did you hear? She said pay attention to the type of right, questions. Right, that's right. Mm -hmm. Also, she said scheming and scanning. ¿Quién sabe qué es skim, skimming and scanning? Skimming and scanning, yeah, right. What is that? Yes, it's just like having a quick read of the mm -hmm. document you are mm -hmm. handling. Correct. It's like just having a quick overview of the document, right? Skimming and scanning no es que voy a leer todo, right? No voy a leer ahí una página completa, no, right? It's just I'm going to skim and scan, okay? There is a difference between skimming and yeah. scanning. Ya la vamos a ver más adelante, but ¿alguien sabe cuál es la diferencia? Skimming and scanning. ¿Mm? Ok. Eso la vamos a ver y vamos a aprender esta estrategia. All right. It's a test strategy, skimming and scanning. We're going to learn about that. All right. So type of questions. Pay attention to the type of question. Pay attention to the number of questions and use test strategies like skimming and scanning, okay? All right, video number three. Esta es una introducción que está en la plataforma, right? Solo lo estamos repasando. <coughs> okay, let me play the video number three, video number three. About the reading section. The reading section on the TOEFL test measures your ability to understand written academic English. It is not necessary for you to have prior knowledge about the topic in order to answer the questions. All right, very good. Um, yo creo que el, el mismo, ¿verdad? The same thing. All right, very good. So when you go to the platform, right? Section one, en la que estábamos, El primer link aquí es simplemente el overview, right? Solo unos videos para introducir, all right? Now, we're going to look at this, the topic for today. The topic for today is the type of questions on the test. The type of questions on the test, all right? So we're going to look at one type of questions, okay? This type of question that's going to be on the test se llama negative factual information questions, all right? We're going to look at that. So pay attention to the video, right? Yo también tengo una presentación de acuerdo a este tema y lo vamos a repasar juntos, all right? So, ¿qué estamos haciendo aquí? Aprendiendo estrategias, okay? Strategies. Welcome to TOEFL Preparation Course 1. In this first course, we will show you two types of reading questions. 
negative factual information questions and factual information questions. If you think you need to take notes, feel free to do so, or you may play this audio program as needed. First, we will show you negative factual information questions. Negative factual information questions ask you to recognize information that is explicitly stated in the text. This may include facts such as major ideas, supporting details, or definitions, except that instead of only one answer being true, three of the four answers are true, and you have to determine which one is false. For negative factual information questions, look for the words NOT or EXCEPT in capital letters. Keep this tip in mind. For the negative factual information questions, remember that you are looking for the answer that either isn't in the paragraph or directly contradicts information in the paragraph. Okay, very good. So, the, the first test strategy is factual information, uh, negative factual information questions, all right? ¿Qué entendieron con eso? ¿Qué es negative factual information questions? What did you understand by that? You had to discard the, the, the answers. Mm -hmm. You put mm -hmm. the wrong answer. Yes, correct. So let me share a presentation now with you. Okay. Pueden ver esta presentación azul? Can you see it? No, hold on. Hold on. No. Ahora sí. All right. Can you see this? Yes? yes. All right. Very good. All right. This presentation here, um, yo se la voy a pasar, pero eh, yo sigo agregando contenido. So no está completa todavía. Okay. Uh, so what we're going to do today is look at test strategy skills. Now, type of questions that are going to be in the test. Look, estas son algunas de las que vamos a ver. Look, factual and detailed questions. Negative facts questions, que es lo mismo que estaba en el primer video que vimos. Negative factual information questions. Vocabulary questions. Inferences. Purpose. Paraphrases. Coherence questions. Main idea questions. And logic of the information. So, ya poco a poco vamos a ir como aprendiendo estas estrategias, right? Eh, estamos hablando de reading section, right? All right. Um, También, no solamente vamos a aprender type of questions, but also we're going to look at academic strategies. Academic strategies pueden ser, por ejemplo, lo que vimos antes, scheming and scanning. Remember? So, todas estas son herramientas que les van a ayudar en el examen. Okay? For example, scheming, scanning. También previewing. Okay? Making connections. También es otra, otra herramienta. Taking notes, okay? For example, taking notes. Ese va a ser otra herramienta que van a usar también, all right? The context, using context. So todas estas son academic strategies that we're going to use, okay? All right, so algunos de ustedes ya conocen estas cosas porque lo han hecho en, en la universidad. All right, very good. Um, so we're going to look at today, number one, uh, Facts and detailed questions, right? All right. Facts and detailed questions. Este bien fácil. Simplemente son preguntas literales. Literal questions that are going to be on the test. Okay. Example. Look at this one. This is an example from the test. Okay. No tienen que leer todo esto. El paragraph, right? Es solo para mostrarles el tipo de pregunta. Which part of the comet is describing the passage as a dirty ice ball? Okay. So this is a detailed question, right? It's a normal question, standard questions, right? Simplemente tengo que ir y buscar esta palabra dentro del paragraph, okay? Aquí está, okay? It's right here, right? So this is a normal question, factual questions, right? Esto no tiene nada de especial, simplemente es just a normal question, right? Now, this one, negative factual questions, esta es la que estaban en el video. 
the one that in the video, negative factual questions. This question, if you look at, ella dijo, tenemos que buscar esta palabra. Except. Or, ¿cuál otra palabra dijo que hay que buscar? Que por veces salen este tipo de preguntas. No. Not. Mm -hmm. Not. So, sometimes you're going to see these words. Va a ver, not or except. 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 Mm -hmm. except quiere decir todo esto menos esto. Okay? That's what it means. Except. No es accept. Accept es aceptar. No estamos hablando de eso. Es except. Ex. Como tu ex. Como tu novia del pasado. Ex. Except. All right. Very good. So if you look at this type of question, it's telling me, look, hay tres, bueno, son A, B, C, D. So I have four choices, right? What is telling me, right? Y esto les va a ayudar a ustedes a ahorrar bastante tiempo. When I come to this question here, and I, I lo primero que hago es leer la pregunta, no leer el artículo. I read the question number five, according to paragraph two, okay? Y aquí está paragraph two. According to paragraph two, Sumerians lacked all of the following except, okay? So, hay cuatro que sí están en el artículo. Hay una que no está allí, okay? So that's what I have to look for, all right? Now, if I read the article or use la estrategia de skimming and scanning, entonces yo sé que esta ya está allí, esta está allí, esta, mm, I don't know, right? So I'm going to put a question there. This one, ah, I know this is there. So what is my answer? Is C, okay? Now, solo estoy dando un ejemplo. Ya vamos a meternos a hacer algunas, eh, algunos ejemplares. All right, so this is what she was saying. Negative factual questions are going to be on the test, right? Um, so whenever you see the word except or not, entonces corresponde a un negative factual question. All right, very good. Now, otra cosa así, otro tip que yo les voy a dar es que no lean todo el artículo, sino primero lean la pregunta. Very good. Read the question first. And if you look at the question here, it's, uh, I, I could say, ah, aquí está, paragraph number two. Paragraph number two, aquí está, paragraph number two. Entonces no me tengo que preocupar. No me tengo que memorizar nada. I know that my answer is here. All right, very good. Let's see another example of negative factual questions. Let's look at another example. Aquí hay otra. Directamente del examen. Y los exámenes cambian, ¿verdad? No cada quien va a tener diferentes exámenes. So don't, no se confíen. All right. <clears throat> If you look here, I have another... Uh, sorry que tapé aquí la palabra, pero dice except. Aquí decía except. Okay. So I have there another example of a factual information question. Negative factual information question. According to paragraph four, aquí está paragraph four, all of the following statements about the Samaritan economy system are true, except, so there's three that are in the paragraph. Hay tres que sí están acá. Yo tengo que buscar la que no está ahí. Okay? Estoy buscando la que no está ahí. All right? Very good. Le voy a dar otro tip. When you read the question first, ¿por qué les digo que lean la pregunta primera? Primero, <clears throat> because look, it says, according to the paragraph, all of the following statements about the Sumerian economic system. ¿De qué se trata este artículo? Ahí está. ¿De qué se va a tratar lo que voy a leer? Sumerian economic system. Por eso le, le digo que lean la pregunta primero. Ok. So, todo lo que voy a leer corresponde a this. The Sumerian Economic System. Ok. 
So ya me está como mentalmente preparando el contenido, right? If I read the question. All right, very good. Preguntas hasta acá? Estamos viendo negative factual questions, right? That are on the test. Okay? Practice. Ahora sí, ahora van a practicar ustedes. Nos quedan siete minutos. Les voy a dar tres o cuatro minutos. Ready? Read the question here and try to answer this one. Okay, so esta es para ustedes. Ready? Go. I'm going to give you five minutes. Okay, very good. So I'm going to read the article and you can follow me with the reading. Remember, we're looking for everything that is true about laughter except, right? So, ¿cuál es el tema del article? Laughter, right? One important natural function of laughter is to help us control our emotions. The person who purposely looks for the element of humor in an uncomfortable situation is making use of an important procedure of emotional control. The ability to laugh off an awkward acts incident has saved many an unpleasant moment in social life. Laughter is superb relaxation, relaxation, relaxation. There is something about laughter which can seep away annoyance, jealousy, and even disgust seep away. Laughter can turn aside anger because it's contagious. The old observation about yawn is true of the laugh too. Your laughter will make another person laugh. He in turn will make you laugh even more heartily. Okay, so what is, hay tres que son verdaderas, right? So let's, let's check off. A, he can help According to the passage, everything is true about laughter, except, okay, so estoy buscando una que no está en el artículo. It can help to reduce feelings of irritation. Mm, no, esta está aquí, right? So this one's, mm -hmm. this one's there. It can be used as a way to regulate how we feel. Regulate, regular, emotional control. So no, esta está aquí. C, it can magnify the intensity of laughter in others, right? Yep, yep. Esta está aquí, porque, yep, yep. right, it says, uh, for example, mm -hmm. your laughter will make another person laugh, and he in return will make you laugh more. So, esta está aquí. Entonces me queda, ni la voy a leer ya. Ya no voy a perder tiempo. All right? Very good. The correct answer is? Letter D. Letter D. Be careful when selecting your answer because three of the choices are going to match the information in the paragraph and only one will not. By the way, you can know it's a negative factual question because the word except in capital. Ahí está, ¿verdad? So, ¿qué tipo de pregunta es? Negative factual information question. All right. So, 
ya vimos un tipo de pregunta que está ahí en the reading section of the test. And, ¿Cómo se llama esta? Negative factual question. Negative. negative. All right. Very good. So, esta es la primera parte del video que vimos, ¿verdad? De último, el último video que vimos. All right. Very good. Questions. All right. El tema aquí no es memorizarme el examen, ya que todos los exámenes son diferentes, ¿verdad? El que va a tener Miguel es diferente que el que va a tener Juan, etc. Right? Lo que quiero aquí a, aprender es estrategias, ¿verdad? Right? Strategies. Strategies. Test strategies, ¿verdad? Right? Y eso es lo que me va a mí a ayudar a avanzar más rápido, terminar dentro del límite de tiempo, eh, reconocer ya algunas cosas, ¿verdad? So, de eso se trata. Okay. All right, very good. So, little by little, así vamos a ir practicando. Okay. Now, what can you do right now? Let me share with you. Um, let me share with you here. Let me share my, my screen with you. All right, very good. So, something that you can do right, is go to YouTube, eh, pongan TOEFL Reading Test Practice, o algo así, en YouTube, right, y le va a tirar prácticas como estas, right, allí, allí es donde yo, yo, yo saqué este contenido de la presentación, la saqué solamente viendo este ejemplar de examen, okay, so you guys, if you want to have a, a, a different idea, remember, que hay una sección de reading, listening, writing, and speaking. Eh, ahorita se pueden enfocar en la en reading section, right? We're looking, this week we're going to focus on the reading section. Okay? okay. So, esta semana se trata de aprender estrategias, right? Reading for the reading section. Strategies. All right. Pero si quieren así ver ustedes, tener una idea um, de qué es el examen, entonces pueden ir así uh, buscar en YouTube y pueden ver un examen completo. All right. Questions? All right, questions? All right, very good. Um, another, another recommendation that you can do, no sé si algunos han, han buscado aplicaciones en Play Store. Yeah. Uh, aplicaciones uh, gratis. Uh -huh. Yeah, for example, in my case, I was using uh, English uh, grammar. Uh -huh. uh, this is very helpful because every day they, they are sending different news about the uh, science, technology, everything around the world. And you have to read and you are going to get uh, details. For example, when you are taking this test, it's going to help you. Okay. So uh, in Play Store, I was seeing that there's different applications. Si ustedes ponen en el Play Store y buscan el TOEFL Reading Test, les van a salir algunos ejemplares que pueden hacer también. All right, so de eso se trata, right? Just to prepare. And espero que por lo menos ya se, sepan un poquito the, the, the sections of the test and what's going to be on different sections, right? Uh, por lo menos la parte de reading, ya están aprendiendo qué tipo de preguntas son. All right, and the type of uh, questions. All right, so I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Thank you, teacher. All right. Okay, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, write me in the group. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Bye. Bye. Have a Take good care. Night. Bye. Have a nice night. Good day. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Bye. Bye.